up guys, it's Juno. Welcome to another Pokemon Showdown Live. This is actually episode number 95, so we are coming up on episode 100. I'm excited, I hope you guys are excited as I am. Anyway, we're going to be playing some more NU this week using this uh, Tennis uh, Life Orb Grass Knot Mawile team, which is actually pretty fun. Used it to good success this week. Still haven't lost, but I'm not quite sure if I'm going to go for Rex, just because I feel like I may not have enough time, you know, but we'll see how this week goes. Anyhow... Um, we got a battle. And I said anyhow, like, really strong right there. I don't know why, but I did. Anyway, this guy's a pretty cool team. Has a Muck, which, uh, kind of stops Odno in its tracks. But, I think the game plan is to get rocks up, grass not the quag, and, uh, weaken Pyroar, then clean up with Scyther. So, um, potential leads for him. This is the only thing I think that gets hazards on his team. Um, so I kind of just want to lead with Scyther because it can get off a strong U-turn versus something. And as long as he doesn't lead with Pyro, we're looking okay. Even though, like, even then, like, Pyro is not a problem. He ends up leading with Musharna, which is very nice because I will threaten him out, uh, with the U-turn. And if he goes into the Quag, then I'm just going to go straight into Mawile and go for the lure turn to playing pretty aggressively because I feel like that's how you kind of have to play. Uh, your lures like I am no expert on them but like you kind of have to read how your opponent's playing and then um, adjust appropriately because if they're like example would be like a perfect example on this he ends up going into, into his air balloon mock so it doesn't matter um, and I think I can just go into Claydol right here or I can go into Toad and get my rocks up which I think I'm going to do instead because he can't really touch me right here and uh, getting my rocks up is super nice because uh, it helps wear down Pyroar a lot faster, breaks any potential sashes with Cacturn and uh, just generally weakens a lot of his team so that is always nice. Um, we'll see what he goes for right here. I wouldn't be surprised to see the Poison Jab because it does have a 60% chance of poisoning. Uh, when you factor in poison jab and poison touch, which is pretty cool for like air quotes, re air quotes reliably spreading stab, <laughs> or not stab, reliably steading, spreading status. God, I couldn't get that one out. Anyway, um, we'll see what he does. I'm gonna go ahead and hit him with the timer real quick, uh, just to see if we can speed his process up a little bit. Um, but you know, once I get my rocks up, then all I gotta do is lure that quag, and it's looking like a wrap. Um, Right here, I'm kind of wary of giving um, your boy Cacturn some free turns because it's actually a really threatening Mon. Um, I'll probably just end up going into... Oh, he just ends up going for the Shadow Sneak. Okay, looks like we're doing okay then. <laughs> As uh, I can just go straight away for the EQ. Um, he has no... Uh, his only resistance is Cacturn, and that thing is really weak, as he just ends up leaving this in to fodder. It goes for the poison jab. Doesn't get the poison, so that is very nice. Uh, Muck is out of the way, which is one of two things stopping Scyther from sweeping. So, if we can get Scyther going uh, late game, potentially versus... Uh, it can probably set up versus Masharna. Like, it can come in on a Masharna. Or, like, oh... Okay, I think how I'm going to do this is if I get rid of Quagsire, I'm going to sack something, uh, give Scyther a free switch in um, versus Masharna, um, then SD on the switch and clean up. I think that's how this battle is going to go, so if it ends up working out that way, then hey, did things well. Anyway, he ends up going out into the Musharna right here. Um, so, huh, huh. I could probably just go straight into my Mawile. Nah, I kind of need Mawile, though. kind of need Mawile. Um, Scyther can probably take any hit, just being completely honest. Um, and then I can Roost on whatever he brings in, if that's what I really want to do. Although it does, it's kind of a pain in the butt, because I lose a lot of momentum, but it doesn't end up mattering, because I come in on an Energy Ball, which is very nice. I can just threaten him out with another U-turn, and I'd imagine he's going to Quagsire right here. Um, I would find it pretty hard-pressed if he went in anything else, and I don't think he wants to stay in here, because um, haven't revealed an item yet, unless he is like super in-depth. Like, he's a great air balloon muck player, but he has a new uh, pyro right here, which really is not an issue, because all that does is give a Hariyama a free switch in. I can click knock off pretty easily, um, because I do believe knock off plus 
Oh, he just ends up forfeiting. So looking looking like an easy snack wrap right there. Uh, we're already gaining all these points. Call me NU King. King NU. Anyway, <laughs> I'm kidding. He goes into or not he goes into I got a battle versus easy street looking like a pretty competent player uh, probably nasty plot nine tails so got to look out for that um, although your boy Scyther can actually put in some work this game because that's not gonna appreciate area laces and u-turns that will not appreciate plus two area laces uh, print plub is kind of an issue um, although I do have seismitoad so I can kind of play it to a draw in that sense I'm just gonna go ahead and lead off with Scyther though because um, it does outspeed the majority of his team unless he does lead Lipard uh, he ends up leading Prenplup which is absolutely fine for me I'm actually gonna rank this guy real quick rank easy because he seems like someone good um, no no mind he hasn't played that many games um, yeah okay I'm just clicking U-turn right here because it's not actually an issue and I'm gonna go straight into uh, kind of want to kind of want to go into clay doll predicting rocks um, but I'm actually gonna go into Hariyama right here and try to hit him with the knockoff um, the more items I can get off on his team the better because just less work that Scyther has to do later if you're factoring in like lefties and stuff so I get Hariyama in on the rocks and I can click knockoff right here relatively freely if he leaves this in I really feel like that's a mistake I really do um, because it opens him up to so much more stuff, but, um, I'd imagine he's going to go into Weezing right here, and if he goes into Weezing, I'll probably just pivot out into Seismitoad and get on my own rocks, force him to defog at some point, which he does go into his farty we windbag, which is his Weezing. Um, we're seeing the Wisp here, I would think, and don't really want to risk Clay all this early in the game, um... Especially when I can just force him to defog later, keep Clay all chilling in the back in case I need it for ice beaming that and uh, ice beaming that, size shocking that when it's weaker because you know this thing is very physically defensive. So he ends up going for the flamethrower right here, which I switch into easily. We tech those, and I can go, <laughs> I can go straight away for the stealth rocks um, because I don't imagine he could do a whole lot to me unless he's like grass knot. Um, I know this thing gets Thunderbolt, which is actually pretty cool. Um, considered running that for the LBA one week, but decided against it. Ended up working out. So, um, he goes into Pingu right here, which... Um, are we seeing the Toxic, or are we seeing the Defog? Actually, he's not going to see this coming. I'm just going to knock off his Violite. I have knock off on, like, two Mons. Could have it on three or four on this team, so knock off for best move. But as soon as I get rid of his Violite, it makes him much less of an issue, because this thing doesn't actually get Roost. Um, so he ends up just going for the defog, which is fine. I would be f absolutely okay with staying in and getting on my rocks because I'd imagine he's, uh, he could be rocks on this. Rocks, defog, scald, toxic. Um, so we are just trading our rocks again, which is absolutely fine. I'm going to go straight away for the EQ because if he does try to want to go into Cradilly or something on the water type attack then I do get better damage off on that and uh, he just ends up going for the defog right here it's not an issue I'm just gonna continue to click rocks um, because even if he wants to continue lowering my evasion um, this thing which could have potentially walled Scyther later game doesn't actually represent an issue anymore um, so now that he doesn't have rocks up I'd that puts me in a little bit of a little bit of a better position because I can just go for the EQ right here and make sure that he does not get rocks up period um, because his choices are either to leave rocks on his side of the field which is just a pain in the butt when you're using nine tails he ends up going into wheezing which is fine um, I'm just gonna go straight away for the skull I think because you know getting a burn on this thing is very very nice if I can wear down his wheezing as much as possible that makes it a lot easier for Scyther later game um, because I will need like plus four to break this thing, but go for the scald. I end up picking up the burn right there, which is very nice. He goes for the flamethrower, predicting Mawile, uh, which you know isn't a bad play, but um, I don't feel like it's the best play. If that makes sense. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and go straight out into Hariyama right here for a couple of reasons. First of which is that he should be in bullet punch range after this, and don't really. And he's not going to go for the Will-O-Wisp, that's for sure. I feel like he's going to go for the Sludge Bomb. Um, if he goes for the Pain Split, that's really unfortunate. But I also don't want him predicting my Scald and getting a switch into Cradilly, which he does end up doing. So that works out really nice for me. Because I can go straight away for the Close Combat and uh, pressure his team really well right here. Because if he goes into Golurk, he's, 
he is losing his item. There's no two ways about it. And uh, I still do. He ends up going for the protect right here, which is not a problem. I'm going to go for the knockoff. Um, because if he does try to go into Golurk right here, then I believe it dies to rocks plus knockoff plus bullet punch. It may just straight up die to knock, depending on his spread. Um, but we shall see. He does end up going into Golurk right here, so <laughs> getting red. You're in preschool. I'm an English major. You are getting red out here. Like, my, my, my plays are Shakespeare. Your, your plays are, like, Curious George. Oh, sick burn. Anyway, <laughs> um, we'll see what he decides to go out into right here because Hariyama does actually threaten a large majority of his team from this, uh, like from this situation right here because Ninetales can't really touch me. He goes into Death Leopard, which is kind of a cool name actually, but it's catching this close combat. It doesn't want these hands. He could encore me in a knockoff if he really wants to, then try to U-turn out for momentum, but I really don't feel like that helps him at all because that just pretty much prevents him from going into Ninetales because Ninetales will take a lot of damage and Ninetales was hardwalled by this anyway. And, you know, Ninetales is his win condition, which um, he just ends up going for the play rough. Does a lot, but it's like, it doesn't actually concern me that much because if we check up on your boy Ninetales right here, Ninetales hits 100 speed. And the good thing about that is that it should be like, I should be able to check it with uh, Hariyama plus Scyther, because Scyther will be able to outspeed them, like his entire team at this point. He just goes into this, and uh, odds are he does outspeed me. So I'm going to go straight out into Claydol to take this thing on, because uh, Claydol can Psy Shock this. Ice Beam that, Earth Power that, and Earth Power that. So, looks like I'm in a pretty good position. Um, he ends up going for the Flamethrower, doesn't get the burn, thankfully, and will die to the burn or hit, will die to previous burn damage from Seismitoad Scald, so I am up 6-3 right here, although he, I guess he could turn it around if he's like stockpile Cradilly, because that could get ugly fast, but then I, then again, I do have Mawile, and Mawile takes no prisoners, so, um, he goes into Prinplup, which I do believe is just gonna die to an Earth Power right here. Um, like, Claydol's pretty weak, like, it is not strong at all, but, it's a ground immunity, and it can do 25% to a non violite print plup. So, you know, it's doing its job. Um, overall, I felt like it was a really successful week in NU for me. Um, it definitely could have been a lot worse. There were some times where I was worried because I'm not that experienced in NU, per se. And, oh god, that did zero. <laughs> so he goes for the Toxic. Predicting the Protect, I'm going to go straight out into Mawile right here. Because uh, I do feel like it is my best play. I can hit him up with an Iron Head. And Iron Head... Er, and he can't really do anything about that Iron Head. Because if he tries to go into Mawile... Er, I'm getting my names all mixed up at the end of this. If he tries to go into Ninetales right here, then... Um, then Iron Head plus Sucker will be able to knock out. Uh, nine tails and Cradily will just die, so he's pointlessly protecting. Why, dude? The, like, I basically have Choice Banded Mawile right here. Life Orb plus Sheer Force, best combo. Shout out Nitto King, shout out Nitto Queen. If either of those things got rock polish, oh my god, that'd be amazing. Anyway, he goes into this, uh, he's gonna take 44% from a resisted Iron Head, so Mawile the Strunk, and right here, I'm pr I could try to preserve the 6-0 and uh, go for the sucker but I really don't want to risk him like nasty plotting in my face although I suppose it doesn't matter so I'm just gonna click sucker right here if I do knock him out that's great um, I feel like it can do 32% which it does because I was able to do 44% with <laughs> Iron Head so Mawile is actually a really underrated mon really strong mon so if you guys haven't tried it out in NU yet I recommend you do um, also, if you guys want, I can drop this team in the pace, like at a pace bin below. Like, it's not my team, so, you know, the more you're using it, the merrier, I guess. Men among lords. That's a deep. Anyway, <laughs> if you guys didn't enjoy today's episode, please make sure to leave a like, because it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video. Um, not actually what, not actually quite sure what to ask for comment question of the video. Um, hmm, I don't know, just like, this is like the most cop-out common question of the video ever, just like, 
Uh, actually, you know, we'll do this. PC or Mac? Um, up to you. Like, wh which one do you think is better and why? We're gonna start a flame war in the comment section. Tutorial to views 101. <laughs> I'm playing. Anyway, with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip flop.